Next up is a comic mom and a comic dad, and they're married to each other. She was a finalist on Last Comic Standing. He was a favorite on America's Got Talent. From New York City, please welcome Tom Cotter and Terry Louise. Hello! I'm Terry! Hi, everybody. This is Tom, and yes, we are married. And we're going to let you process that for a minute, because right now you're all saying, wait a minute, she sleeps with him? <laughs> nope, not anymore. No, nope, not for a while. There was a time, though, when we were dating, honey, yeah, right? there was a yes, time. I'll never forget yeah. our first date. Oh, it was so mm. nice. Tom touched my heart. Technically, it was your breast, but it was right on top of your heart. Same uh, thing. Come on, it was a great night. He it took was. me to dinner. Tom paid for me. Again, we were in a drive through I was driving. People were honking. <laughs> but you know what? Not long after that, we got engaged. 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 Uh, we got engaged. engaged. Yeah. Yes. Engaged. He has a hard time with that word. We got married, yeah. too. Our rings were engraved. That's true. Mine says, our love will last forever. Yeah, mine was a little less romantic. I wrote, if found, please call 555-751-4266. Tom is romantic, aren't you, honey? Yes, I am. Come on, am. now that we're married, yeah. all your sexual fantasies are about me, right? Of course, baby. It's just that sometimes you are a tall, blonde hooker with a dwarf on a leash, but it's always you. You see, marriage is about, about give and take. Yeah, because she gives me crap and I have to take it. Those are the rules. We fight sometimes over the little things. Like my penis, apparently. That's a big thing now, you know? But we never go to bed angry. No, no, we would much rather stay awake and plot our revenge. That's what we do. <laughs> And despite all that, though, we did get pregnant. Yeah, yes. hello. I'll yeah. never forget, yeah, we took the home pregnancy test together, mm -hmm. and Tom was reading the directions, and it said, if you see a blue line, you're pregnant. If you see a white line, you're not. And it turned blue. And then Tom ran and got the white out. Huh? Yes, I did. <laughs> that pregnancy was brutal. Oh. It really was. First trimester, a lot of vomiting and crying, and Carrie was having a tough time, too. And <laughs> I'd love to see you give birth to a child. I'd love to see you pee your initials in the snow. We're just different. Of course I was cranky. I was pregnant with twins. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I know we have twins. They're in the car. <laughs> Don't judge. The window's cracked. Everything's cool. Mommy and Daddy have to work, people. Yeah. Come on. Let me tell you something. I went to every... Every single doctor's he appointment did. with her when she was mm -hmm. pregnant. Everyone, and it is humiliating for the guy, because you walk into the doctor's office, and within five minutes, your wife is naked with her feet up in the stirrups, and I can't even get her to wear a cowboy hat to bed. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then the doctor comes in, and the first thing he does is he conducts what he calls a breast examination. That's what it is. That's what he calls it. I call it going to second base on my wife in front of me, right? And then he says, I'm just looking for lumps, and I'm like, you're going to find one, you quack. Keep it up. It's a scam, and then at the end, i got to pay this guy. Our final visit to his office, I gave him a urine sample all over his desk. I didn't like him. And now he knows. I was pregnant with twins. I had to go all the time. I was big. I was yeah. huge. Remember, honey? Yeah. I couldn't even bend over. Which is ironic, because that's how we got into this mess to begin with. People ask us if we use fertility drugs to get the twins, and not yeah. unless you count happy pills and tequila as fertility drugs. Yeah, and I had always dreamed of having twins, but in my dreams they were the Olsen twins in a hot tub. It was different, but this is nice. It really is. The delivery was a miracle. It really was. Yes. I filmed the delivery. I mm -hmm. call it the sequel, because I also filmed the conception. And uh, <laughs> that is all That's over the joke. web. Check it out. Anyway. No, he, it's a joke. He's not. Tom's a good dad. He really is. It it took some training, though, right? Yeah. Yes. Don't you remember? Mm -hmm. I had to tell him that the babies have cries, and that's how they communicate. Like, that's if you true. hear wah, 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 that means stick a bottle in my mouth, and I'll shut up. Mm -hmm. But if you hear wah, wah, well, that means you're not my real dad. Get out of the room. <laughs> I so. learned some things, too. I learned that the, the nipples, the synthetic nipples for the top of baby bottles now are so unbelievably lifelike, and you have not lived until you had a gin and tonic for one of these things. Honest to God. That is nirvana. Yes. My only mission is I want to be a good dad. My dad was a foster parent. That's what he drank, mm -hmm. fosters. And he would come home <laughs> liquored up when I was a kid. And he would put me up on his shoulders, and then he would jump up and down underneath the ceiling fan. I hated that. I remember your dad. He would always used to say, oh, it's so rewarding being oh, yeah. a parent. It's not rewarding. I haven't received a reward. Have you? No. 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 Well, here's the reward. The, yes. the true reward is they are. They are adorable. They are the cutest twins ever. They really are. At first, we couldn't tell them apart. No. Yeah, so we had to tattoo them. Yeah, one says Cameron. And the other one says, if found, please call 555-751-42. This is Carrie, everybody. Carrie. This is Tom. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you very much.
have to multitask. I remember running on that treadmill while I was breastfeeding. Ooh, I don't think milkshakes are good for children, honey. That's, that's not good.